So now we know how to make a buffer solution. But how do we get it to a certain pH? How do I know what amount of acid and conjugate base I need to add to create a buffer of a certain pH? Here is where equilibrium concepts become useful. Let's look at equilibrium expression for acid dissociation Ka. Ka is given by, for example, ethanoic multiplied by hydronium over ethanoic acid. The pH that we want directly determines the concentration of hydronium ions. The concentration of acid depends on the molarity of the acidic solution we start with. If I have one molar ethanoic acid, the concentration of ethanoic acid at equilibrium will be less than one because of acid dissociation. However, since we are making a buffer, we are adding a lot of ethanoic ions into the solution, which pushes the already weak dissociation of ethanoic acid backwards, preventing most of the acid from dissociating. As a result, the concentration of ethanoic acid at equilibrium would not be much different from its initial concentration. And this, makes, and this is a valid assumption that we can make, and we often make when doing calculations related to buffer solutions. What about the concentration of ethanoic? How much do I add? If you know your Ka, you know your pH, the concentration of hydrogen that you want, as well as the concentration of the acid, then it is simply a matter of solving for one unknown, like this. The amount of conjugate base salt, sodium ethanoic, for example, is the concentration of ethanoic ions at equilibrium. But hang on, doesn't ethanoic acid dissociate as well to form ethanoic? Yes, here we have two compounds that form ethanoic in water. But we must realize that one is a salt and the other is a weak acid. The salt will dissolve completely, the weak acid will only dissolve partially, and the extent of dissociation will only be reduced when we add ethanoid to the solution from sodium ethanoid. In short, we assume that the concentration of ethanoid ions contributed by the dissociation of the weak ethanoid acid is negligible. The concentration is pretty much all contributed by sodium ethanoid. So we have just gone through the components of the solution that make up this equilibrium expression. Now often when we make buffer solution, what is important to us is the pH of the buffer. So let's make the concentration of hydronium the subject of this expression. So let's make this expression more general instead of just limiting to just ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid is the acid and ethanoic is simply the concentration of salt. Now this equation may not seem very useful, but let's take the P of both sides. This gives us pH equals to pKa minus log acid over salt. Let's make all of the terms positive. So pH equals to pKa plus log salt over acid. Now we have just expressed the pH as something related to pKa, as well as the concentrations of salt and acid. This equation is very useful because often Ka or pKa is something that is given to you in the question and all that's left is simply to come up with the appropriate ratio of salt to acid so that we can get an acidic buffer with the desired pH. This equation is special and we give it a cool fancy name called the Henderson Hasselbalch equation named after the guy who the guys who found it or the HH equation. We can do this all again for a basic buffer as well. Concentration of hydroxide equals to Kb multiplied by hydroxide multiplied by the salt over the base. Move over, lock both sides, make positive, and we get this expression which is very similar to, one of, to the one of the acidic buffer. This is analogous to the HH equation, though honestly Henderson and Asselbeck only came up with the first equation. Normally, most people just use the HH equation because pH is a more often used notation rather than pOH.